YouTube, what is going on? It's your guy, Kent Hollywood Matt Singer. We are back at it, and uh, if you haven't guessed already, we're getting ready for another display video. All of the pictures are down. We got our Marvel lights that uh, we're going to go ahead and put up above our cityscape and uh, Hopefully this is gonna come together nicely But uh, we'll take a little look at these light boxes and uh, kind of show you what we're putting together to uh, get these up on the wall and uh, get our display going. So uh, come on back and check out all the fun here on Kent Pool Live next. So first up we got our Marvel light. We got our 10. 10 foot uh, cord uh, we need to extend it so we can hang it all the way up there and uh, come on and plug it in so we got a USB and we got a smaller connection so I will link <coughs> in the description if uh, if you need that 10 foot wire for this Marvel Legends we got people beeping that's nice all right so our spider-man one USB on both sides. So there are our USB to USB cable 10 feet. We got a couple plugs for our um, USBs and we got our Avengers Endgame. Same thing USB to USB. So uh, like I said, I'll leave the Amazon items in the description if uh, you want to go a little bit longer to uh, connect your lights. Some tools we're using on this project. Got our tape measure, using some pliers, got our level pencil. We got the screws and anchors to put in the wall, a screwdriver, and then a uh, little cordless drill. We got our first in place. We're about to set our next screw and anchor. And let's get this Marvel light up there. Up there. Here we go. All right, so it, uh, <laughs> it took a minute, but we got this uh, about square. Uh, square is, is going to be four right now. I will have to go back. Got a couple holes to fix, but hey, maybe uh, maybe the Marvel Legends did that. But let's give it a boom. That was a lot of work, <laughs> but one Marvel light is up and going, and we'll just take our time and. There you go, wire back. So we got just a little bit of wire exposed. If um, if we don't go too heavy, we might even be able to put like a Marvel Legend up there. But uh, one light down, two to go. All right, so light number two up. Again, gonna go back and uh, do a little bit of work on the wall. But uh, yeah, learned a valuable lesson. Uh, kind of dropped it there. Didn't quite have the uh, screws out far enough from the anchor to actually hold it. So uh, as soon as I went to check to see if it was level, it, uh, it came down. No uh, street scene yet, but after we get our third light up, we'll definitely add that little street effect. But Marvel, Spider-Verse, it's, uh, it's coming together. And ladies and gentlemen, number three, yes. So we got lights. We got lights. Let's see if I can get, yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, that is nice. Avengers, Spider-Man, 
and Marvel lit up. Let me know what uh, what do you think in the comments. Definitely got to uh, make this look a little prettier. Try to hide those wires a little bit. Bring in our NECA streetscapes. But uh, let me know what you think of the lights in the comments. So we got our case and our lights what do you think like that's pretty uh pretty good light coming off of our case and our lights let me come back this way so we got everything wired together so the detoff all three lights and uh the case all coming on together i uh, haven't decided what i'm gonna do with that picture on the end there but uh, that's some pretty good lighting for our main lights off let me show you the difference so yeah lights on lights off that is pretty cool all right so i cleaned off and uh let's bring some buildings in all right so building number two is our NECA animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Street Diorama. Uh, Spider-Verse is a little lower, so I might consider taking that up a little higher. You can see that uh, the building's sticking out a little bit compared to our other street scape. But uh, overall, I think it looks great. I like uh, the colors of the building with the colors of uh, of the light box. I think they go pretty well together. And then I kind of like the red brick and the marble. So, so far, so good. Uh, let's see what we got in store for our end game light. And uh, what's it going to look like? Display. All right, in our last display, our NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie streetscape. And uh, how awesome does that look? We got our end game, so kind of making it our kind of MCU look. But uh, let me know in the comments which light box, which NECA Streetscape do you enjoy the most and uh, what do you think of our little project it is coming together I'm gonna tell you uh, putting up those lights was definitely a job <laughs> I am ready to rest up uh, maybe like edit a video definitely need a break no way I'm gonna be able to load these things up just yet I uh, gotta play around Got to find a couple pieces for the NECA scenes and everything to kind of finish them up and uh, add in some other diorama pieces before we start putting our figures on top and uh, putting together that final display. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button. If you haven't seen our other display videos, go check it out. Been having a lot of fun with this project here on Kent Pool Live. Go check out the pictures and other great stuff on Kent Pool Live on Instagram. Uh, let's do one more shot of, let's check it out. Ooh, yeah. Look at that nightscape. Wow, coming together. Hopefully you all are enjoying it, having fun. Like, comment, share. All those things help out the channel. And until next time, always be hunting, have fun collecting.